I've been thinking lately about organization in life and how life can be sort of viewed as a game. And, and really, if, if you think about it, life really is a kind of mathematical game. You can apply a lot of game theory to it. I think it's very relevant, very significant. And, you know, I, I've been thinking about sort of the interplay between cooperation and competition and how, and how it's necessary to have a balance of both. And that in order for us to compete at a higher level, it's necessary to cooperate at a lower level. Okay, that is, you know, we cooperate with family members in order to be a more competitive family. We cooperate with colleagues at work to be a more competitive business. Uh, we cooperate with our compatriots in order to be a more competitive country. Okay, as we we want to compete with others <clears throat> at our own scale. And I think that's healthy, but what is unhealthy is when we go too far in that competition, when we fail to cooperate in order to compete at a higher level. So competition and cooperation are both healthy things, and, and fundamental is, is striking a proper balance between the two, is understanding the purpose of competition, the purpose of cooperation. Um, the purpose of competition is to find leadership within a social organization, I believe. That is, when you have an organization that is defined for pursuing a certain goal or a certain purpose, that competition should be geared towards finding the best leadership for that organization. Whereas the cooperation is cooperating in order to make that organization more competitive. <laughs> you know? So there's this understanding the, the purpose behind behind those elements cooperation and competition so it strikes me is that you know the traditional definitions of socialism and capitalism is capitalism is defined as just being purely competitive that that is people aren't expected to cooperate at all in fact Cooperation is thought of as collusion. Whenever you get people colluding, they're always colluding and they're hurting the customer. That everyone is supposed to be in competition. And capitalism kind of demands that. It's a very individualistic approach. Everyone is supposed to compete. And cooperation is very much frowned upon. That's, that's capitalism. Socialism is sort of the opposite extreme where everyone is expected to completely cooperate and have a classless society and, and uh, have absolutely no contest for, for anything. <laughs> that everyone, everyone gets an equal result of whatever the result is. You know, gets an equal share of whatever it is they produce. You know, which um, to me is, is equally wrong. So, so for me, both pure capitalism and pure socialism are just are non-functional because they do not balance competition and cooperation in, in a way that produces the healthiest organization. Okay, and that's that's kind of what we're talking about. We're talking about providing a functional, healthy social organization, a country, or a business, or a family, or an individual. That's <laughs> that that's balanced between competition cooperation is so essential um, so anyways that's but that has been what has been running through my mind lately so just want to put that out there uh, thanks for listening and look forward to your comments bye